Hi, we are Zespa. And we're here at the Zach Sang Show, and we talked about our new album, Girls, and a lot of the behind the scenes about it, so please be sure to check it out. Hello, beautiful human. My name is Zach. That is Dan. And we welcome to the studio, Espa! Do you guys like want to, do, do you want to do your, do your hello? Hi, we're Espa. <laughs> Can you describe the first time you all did that together? Like for the first time in unison? Oh, we actually, you know, we have our like, um, what's the word? Greeting? Like the be my eye. <laughs> do that. Yeah, we, we do. Oh, should we do that? Like for I the mean, introduction? Okay, also, okay. Okay, okay. We'll. Do your thing. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> be my eye? Uh-uh. Oh. Okay. Just hit you. Oh. Be my eye. Hi, we're Espa. <laughs> this was what we did. Well, like getting that like in unison takes yeah. a lot of work. Yeah, and like it wasn't this before. It was like, like be my eye. Like we did stuff with our like mm-hmm. hands to like try to, like do to express like our be my eye. And it wasn't even be my eye. It was like be my my or like be my friend. Be my friend. Like there was like a different like um, options to choose from. So. That's pretty cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. it took a while to get to be my eye. I have the most questions for you guys because you got to know each other because you allowed me to help bring to life your showcase. Yeah. So thank mm-hmm. you very much. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank much. you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Um, I got to understand your fandom and the people who make up the community that you call my. Yeah. What, what does my mean? Yeah, my means friend. And what we think of our my's as is like our closest friend. And that's... Kind of like the meaning of our fandom. It is a beautiful relationship that you guys have. It's really special. Yeah. The room, the YouTube theater was electric. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. Because you guys debuted during a pandemic, which is super rare, obviously, because, you know, pandemics don't Mm -hmm. really come around much. What is that like? Um, Debuting in the pandemic was obviously a lot different from what we imagined like a normal debut would be. So um, when we like would stand on stage, there would be no audience. It would just be the cameras. And that went on for like basically almost a whole year and a half ish. Mm -hmm. There were like very like small times where we had like a small audience, but it was never like a full packed audience that we got to experience until like really recently, like Coachella was our very first time where we had people watching us. <laughs> it's a huge stage. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a huge stage yeah. for like a first time with, you know, people watching. So that was kind of like the very big like moment for us. And then the YouTube theater was our very first time with only our mice, like a concert kind of vibe. So it's still new to us and it's a very fun time each time and we can feel ourselves kind of like improving as we keep doing it there has to be nerves right because doing a show in front of people compared to cameras couldn't be a more different experience but then also getting up on stage at coachella yeah which is iconic in its own way mm-hmm. nerves scared or release like how do you feel uh coachella is on it oh it done king jang bodan and take a kid I what is it like when you look out at a crowd for the first time or you look out when you're performing and you don't see cameras? You see actually human beings looking back at you. So much more different from just the cameras. It actually, you know, when people talk about how we give energy and how we get energy from the audience, like, I think we really understood what that meant. It's so different where it's like, in front of a camera, I have base almost 100% control over my facial expressions, for example, you know? Like, I'm gonna do this at this part and I'm gonna like look at that place at this part and we have all that planned and it's like comes with practice. But then when there's an audience in front of us, Like the smiles or like even just, you know, in the moment, what we do in the moment, that can't be planned. So it's just whatever we feel with our audience during that moment is what happens in our performance. So I think that's what makes each um, stage very special for us. You see energy in the mood of the moment. Yeah. And you really, yeah, you can't duplicate that. Yeah, you can't. Was your debut everything you dreamed it would be? Because I want to know your stories, but I'm assuming you dreamed of, 
that moment for a long time. 솔직히 마냥 행복하지만은 않은, 않았던 것 같아요. 왜냐면 아니 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 물론 데뷔를 해서 행복한데 왜냐면 저희는 팬데믹 상황에서 데뷔를 했고 그래서 저희는 데뷔하자마자 팬들을 만날 줄 알았는데 저희가 만난 거는 카메라들 뿐이었고 그리고 이제 저희가 듣게 되는 반응은 되게 좋은 반응도 많았지만 저희 회사에서 오랜만에 나온 것만큼 되게 부정적인 반응들도 많았었거든요. 그래서 되게 저희 다 마음고생이 엄청 심했었고 근데 지금은 물론 저희 팬분들도 많이 생기고 관심도 많이 받고 많이 사랑을 받지만 데뷔 때는 되게 많이 힘들었던 것 같아요. By the way, not everything is all happy and, and not everything is sunshine and happiness and butterflies and kitty cats and yeah. mm-hmm. you know. And but but at the end of the day, you still debut and you end up making history. So what does that feel like? Is it relieving? Do, do you prove anything to yourself? 어, 우선 뭔가 데뷔 때 그렇게 마음 고생 아니 마음 고생을 하고 근데 물론 저희는 행복한 게 컸죠. 행복하게 컸는데 그렇게. 대중분들이 많이 좋아해 주시고 저희도 저희에 대한 믿음이 부족했었던 것 같았는데 이렇게 많이 사랑해 주셔서 저희도 더 책임감도 생기고 더 좋은 모습을 보여드려야겠다 싶어서 저희끼리 더 cheer up하고 더 뭔가 멤버들끼리 더 탄탄해진 것 같아요. 그리고 지금 너무 사랑해 주시는 것도 너무 벅차고 지금도 너무 감사드리고 그래서 앞으로도 뭔가 어... 초심을 잃지 않는 그룹이 될수 있을 것 같아요. What was your first impression of one another when you first met at the very beginning? 첫 인상. 어 일단 제가 가장 처음 해본 건 이제 카리나 언니였는데 카리나 언니를 처음 봤을 때 약간 차가운 인상이 가장 기억에 남았던 것 같고 닝닝이는 되게 밝고 뭔가 인사도 잘 받아주고 그랬던 <웃음> 친구였던 것 같고. 지젤 언니는 아마 가장 마지막에 음. 제가 봤던 멤버인데 되게 수줍음이 많고 되게 샤이한 느낌이 강했던 것 같아요. What was it like for you coming in last? <웃음> That was, I think, like a really cool experience. It's where I got to see the members, you know, before we were formed as a team. So I got to see them do. No, like singing, like songs and dances, like with the three of them. So all of the first impressions were, I think I've said it, I've said it a lot in like different interviews, but to put it differently here, I remember Karina's, like we had this iPad and the iPad has like all our like videos of like us like practicing basically. It's a very like, it's only for the trainees. And on my first day there, one of the onnis, like the training um, people, like she gave me an iPad and she was like, okay, just like, use this to like do your stuff and i was like okay and i went in the photo thing <laughs> and then i saw their like videos and i'm like oh wow like i don't think like wow you know what do you think I, they were so good like they were very good and like some there was like you know you like Honja go like by herself like dancing like <laughs> and there's like those like oh, no way. in the voice memos there's like ning nings like oh. and winters like singing like little like things and i remember listening to those and thinking like wow like the amount of effort you know that goes into training and like i can you can just tell you know like uh. just by that video it's like oh, how much she put thought and like effort into it and it's like yeah it, that was like a very Like different from a first impression of like person, but like a first impression of like just the whole training thing in general. I think that was very big for me. I want to talk training in a second, but I mean, what, you have to learn something about yourself, mm-hmm. a lot of things about yourself. Yeah. Through going through like training. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What do you learn? When you're dancing, you can, after you've done most of the basics, you can feel when something is like, oh, like it feels like me, like it feels like my style or like. When your vocal teacher is like, try these songs and you talk about music together and then decide on a song and what song to do, you'll like slowly start to find yourself as the process goes on. And I think that's really up to the trainee to look for that and to really um, think hard into the training process in general and not just the stuff that you have to do, not just the not just the music sheet, you know, not just the choreography, but... Yeah, it's so much yeah. deeper than yeah. that. Like, like, if it suits me, do I look good while doing this? And, you know, like... That kind of stuff. You're also like pushed to your limits. You have to work yeah. really hard. You're yeah, being yeah. scrutinized in new ways. For sure. 일단 어 
저희 회사가 좋은 점은 멤버들끼리 진짜 친해지는 것 같고 그게 멤버들이 진심으로 서로를 약간 위하는 마음이 <웃음> no, no. <웃음> 서로를 위하는 마음이 생기는 것 같아서 그거를 좀 크게 배웠고 그리고 눈치가 되게 빨라져요. 음. 그냥 약간 아이 사람이 뭐가 필요하구나 아니면 이 멤버가 지금 상태가 어떻구나 이런 눈치가 되게 빨라져서 서로에 대한 이해도가 되게 높아진 것 같아요. <웃음> so sorry. No, I'm so embarrassed. <웃음> 그리고 약간 어 되게 힘들잖아요. 근데 이렇게 항상 하다가 포기하고 싶을 때도 있어요. 근데 이거 이거 아 이거 말해 말해야 되나? 그래서 아니요. 그래서 아, 아니 이게 그 포기하면 안 된다. 좀더 버티자. 더할수 있어. 나는 할수 있어. 이런 생각하면서 되게 아 이런 생각하면서 강해지고 나한테 약간 자신감 더 생기고 네 그런 거 너무 많이 배웠어요. Oh, one hundred percent. Like after after you take this on, you can kind of take on anything. Oh yeah. You're really incredibly emotionally, physically, mentally tested. Yeah, thank you. It's awesome. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody uh, else? What do we learn about ourselves? We lost the cheat. 다른 거 있어? 저는 아무래도 어렸을 때부터 부모님이랑 떨어져서 지내다 보니까 뭔가 저희 제 친구들은 아직까지 가족들의 돌봄을 받는 상태면 저는 거의 독립해서 제가 제 자신을 돌봐야 되는 상황이기 때문에 뭔가 어렸을 때부터 제 자신에 대해서 조금 더잘 알고 공부도 하고 또 그랬던 것 같아요. That's really special but also scary at the same time and you know being put in a position that very 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 few are fortunate to be in but you get to rise and become an adult but i don't know it also sucks a little bit so what was it like when you first got in the studio together to record black mamba ah black mamba i still remember when we first got the song and when we first started recording but black mamba was like a really good song like When we got the demo, it was just like, wow. The four of us were just sitting on the floor with like the lyrics sheet, and we're just like, oh, like singing the whole thing because we don't know our parts yet. And it, and there's this lyric where it goes, "Es p a n a n a y a t u r i d e s o f s o It's like es p a s two is one. There can't be two or something. There's a lyric like that, and I remember hearing that part. And I was like, oh, this song is nice. Like Bye. it was a very like a point, you know, like a killing point. And um, when we first recorded together. We all sat like this, actually, mm-hmm. in the on the couch, and there was a booth right here. And then one by one, we went in. And I remember, like, now we don't really get too nervous for recordings. It's more like exciting, but um, back then it was like kind of nerve wracking. And I remember when it was getting closer to my turn, I was getting, like, I was like, oh, it's kind of scary. I don't know about the rest of the members, but that was kind of what I felt. But I remember just hearing the song over and over again on the big speaker was like really nice. <laughs> <laughs> <웃음> 어 일단 데모부터가 진짜 너무 좋아가지고 근데 저희가 일단 블랙 맘바가 제목이잖아요. Then we searching what is black mamba? <웃음> 그러니까 제일 무서운 독사 그거라고 해서 그리고 선생님께서 되게 강하게 녹음했으면 좋겠다고 아. 하셨어가지고 재녹음도 하고 되게. 어쨌든 데뷔곡이니까 엄청 정성을 쏟아야 됐던 곡이었어서 그래서 저희끼리도 막 저희 단체 SNS 방에서 막야 거기 이렇게 녹음하면 어때? 이렇게 하면 어때? 하면서 되게 저희끼리도 정성을 많이 쏟아서 지금까지도 되게 기억에 남는 곡 중에 하나고 그냥 첫 녹음이라서 되게 되게 재밌었던 기억이 커요. A debut record that ends up breaking a lot of records and making history. But Giselle, you brought up a lyric in the song about their like being two of each of you like there is deeper meaning to the song and it is connected to this metaverse world, world view yeah, yeah. Like, like there's a metaverse like digital version of each one of you correct yeah there is we have our avatar members yes which makes us the eight member group it's pretty crazy yeah mm-hmm. are they opposites of you these avatars are they similar to you how are they connected ah. to you They're actually made off of our own database. So like I, Winter, I, Ningning, I, Karina, I, Giselle, they're all like us. They exist in the metaverse and they're made from the information of us as human beings. 
Uh, okay, got it. Yeah. So, so it they're is basically you. our twin friend kind of thing. Is it like the perfect version of you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The that's more like Karina's story. If you if you watch the SMCU episode, like mm-hmm. she's like, oh, I'm like the perfect version of you, and like <laughs> I Karina's like that kind of <laughs> character. But yeah, honestly, that's the f- like the present and the future. Yeah, yeah. Avatars in the metaverse, man. It's in. It's in. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. It's, what, it's what the people are doing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Does Espa have a single sound? Like, could you describe the sound of your group? Is that even possible? 일단 저희는 되게 어좀 강한 사운드가 좀 많이 익숙하실 텐데 들어보면은 되게 디테일하게 들으면 여러 소리가 되게 많이 섞여 있는 그런 그룹인 것 같아요. 회사에서도 되게 유영진 이사님께서 엄청 신경을 많이 써 주시는데 디테일하게 들을수록 많은 소리가 섞여 있어서 더 풍성한 사운드를 낼수 있는 것 같고 그래서 에스파만의 음악이 탄생할 수 있는 것 같아요. Life's Too Short is a different song for you guys, right? Because it's in English. What was it like tackling that? Because we were mainly doing um, songs in Korean or mixing English. Um, Life's Too Short is a full English um, single. So obviously for me it was much easier in terms of um, pronunciation and for the members too, I don't think because it, it's not like a rap or anything. It's um, and we all practice a lot of like pop songs during um, trainee days as well and just in general. So I think it was like really fun and we worked more on trying to express the meaning of the song into, you know, in the details of our vocals and all of that. And that was really fun. What is the meaning of life too short? Life's too short really means like the title itself. It's life is too short for negativity. We're saying like be yourself and do what makes you happy because we don't have time to not do that. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. yeah. Is this what you guys are meant to do? This? Yeah, be uh, K-pop idols, K-pop superstars. Yeah, I guess it's the path that we chose and we're trying our best and that's all we can do. Try your best because life's too short to not try well, your best. That's it. <laughs> you control the effort, not the outcome. Yeah, we o- we can only control the effort. I think is being an idol. What you like? Do you feel within like this is exactly what you were supposed to do with your time on Earth? Because life mm. is too short. Yeah. Oh, 물론 다른 직업도 가끔 뭔가 와 이것도 해보고 싶다. 왜냐면 되게 호기심이 많아가지고 아 이것도 해보고 싶다 저것도 해보고 싶다 생각은 하는데 막상 무대에 서보고 나면은 그냥 그 팬분들의 함성이나 이런 걸 한번 듣고 나면은 그냥 아이 직업을 안 했으면은 이렇게 행복한 걸 느낄 수 있을까 생각을 하게 되는 것 같아요. 그래서 뭔가 다시 하더라도 아티스트 뭐 가수를 다시 했을 것 같아요. Same for you, Ning Ning. Yep, me too. <웃음> How do you deal with negativity? Actually, we don't care. Yeah, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. 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 I don't I don't care. I don't care. I don't I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't I don't care. The start, like during debut and those times, like I would like look at you know all of that yeah. and stuff. But people around me like would be like, "Why? Why do you look at that? Like, what's the point? Like, nothing's gonna change anyways. Like, you already know what you have to work on and what you're good at. So, you know, just do that." And that kind of hit me, and I was like, "That's true. Like, what's the point? It's, it's such a waste of time. You know what I mean? Cool. Like, not you know talking bad on." those people but just saying that for me it's a waste of time to do that you know when i could be using that time to improve myself so after since then i don't really look anymore i think yeah life's too short to subject yourself to that energy yeah <laughs> clear your aura that's it yeah next level is one of my favorite espa songs Aww. so good <gasps> thank you is there a story behind it like w- w- what is the meaning to you like when you perform that song up there does that, d- d- do you form a personal attachment? Do you apply that song to something in your life or something you may be going through? Next Level was actually, it's a song that really feels like home because this song has been decided since before debut. 
like this mm. yeah since we were trainees and this was like one of the first songs that i did a test recording of when i first came to the company so it has a re- like a really deep place in my heart and our founder mr lee like he really knew like he like he would tell us a story he listened to this song during the movie and he was like oh this is it and he was like you know like he's like we got to remake this song and it became like our hit song since even before everything happened so yeah we kind of like trained with this song and it was like a big deal during our training days as well like the demo was like something we all had to practice like everyone was told to practice it and um yeah since we've listened to it for such a long time and there were so many changes made to it it's something that feels very close to our hearts it's a great record yeah it is it's like really good it's hard to get sick of and it's in my head right <laughs> yeah. i'm on the next level and then the whole dance ah <laughs> uh, yeah oh. this is, i can't do it but yeah, oh. <laughs> do, it, I, please. yeah please. do it please no i can't my, my, yeah, my, my oh yeah, yeah but my Ooh. my wrist doesn't go far like back far <laughs> enough. yeah can you do it no hey. oh, what was that <laughs> That was not it. <laughs> not it. You have an EP on the way, don't you? EP? Yeah. Am I wrong? Oh, in yeah, that? yeah, yeah. Mini album. Yeah, we do. Yeah, mini album. Sorry. Yeah, no, no. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing. Yeah. What story are you telling with it? Our second mini album, e- uh, Girls, is uh, Savage. So, we have a movie story. And then, Black Mamba, Next Level, Savage, and then Girls. And then, the story is going to be told. 이제 블랙맘바를 걸즈에서 물리치고 저희가 이기고 이제 블랙맘바가 안 나오는 세계관 스토리가 있고 그 전에 곡들보다 더 파워풀한 보이스 퍼포먼 그리고 다 통틀어서 제일 센 곡이기도 해요. A song like Savage, is there a story behind it or a meaning? 어 그것도 이제 Next Level 다음 얘기였는데 거기에서 이제 Fight with Black Mamba 그게 키 포인트였고. 이제 저희가 확실히 이기진 못했던 그런 스토리였는데 이제 걸즈에서는 확실히 이제 처리하는 내용을 담고 있고 세비지엔 특히나 저희가 팬데믹 상황에서 팬분들을 못 만나고 있을 때 처음으로 미국에서 활동한 곡이어서 저희한테 또 의미가 있는 곡인 것 같아요. Like choreography, what role does it play? I think a really big thing about K-pop and in our case SMP is that Um, it's not only the song that you listen to, but you have to watch it with the music video or see it with the choreography in order to get the whole idea of what we're trying to portray. And so choreography, I think, does almost half, mm-hmm. half of the result of one, mm. um, like a piece of work, then it would be song choreography, like almost 50-50. What comes the most natural to each one of you? For me, I really enjoy singing. A lot, a lot, <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say a lot more, but um, yeah, I I really like singing. For me, dancing both. They both come natural. Yeah. Oh. Hey, choose one. Hey, what? Hey, what happened? Okay, okay. Fair, fair. You each have very distinct personalities, and. When you think of K-pop, people do say that like the way K-pop works is each member is their own color, and when they come together, they make one beautiful thing. Do each of you identify with a color? Like, does your personality link up with a shade? Well, I really like this question. Yeah, it's a very <laughs> interesting question. I think I'm blue. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're like dark blue. Hey, because um, I'm kind of. A little cool. Ah, so I'm cool tone. Yeah, man. 어릴 때부터 파란색을 좋아하기도 했고 그런 시원한 느낌을 좋아하고 그리고 좀 따뜻한 색깔보다는 시원한 색깔이 저한테 더잘 맞는 것 같아요. 그리고 실제로 시원한 색깔이랑 있으면 좋은 일이 많이 생겨. Good luck. I don't have an idea, but but I feel like you're kind purple. Of purple. Purple. Yeah. Purple. yeah. <laughs> I get purple I, vibes. I think purple or red. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes. Purple yeah. red vibes. Yeah. I think Which purple. one? I think purple. 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 Yeah, you're purple. Okay. Really? Then purple. Okay, purple. <laughs> I'm purple. <laughs> purple. <laughs> White. White. 
ella. Or ivory. 좋아하기도 하고 오늘 입은 옷도 <웃음> 화이트랑 비치. <웃음> 그리고 무엇보다 지금 이 쿠션이 너무 마음에 들고 여기 <웃음> 뒤에 있는 저 친구 뭐죠? 저 충정리예요? This? Yeah. Church. Is that? So cute. Oh, he's cute. Oh, they're gonna love that you said that. <웃음> 귀여워. 너무 귀여워요. 하얗고 아무것도 없는. 동그란 거. 너무 좋아해요. He's cute. He can have his. Yeah, he can cute. have his own cartoon. Karina. Um. Sorry, Giselle. Jeez. It's good. It's okay. <laughs> That's you. I'm so sorry. Um. I've seen you guys a lot this week. Yeah, like three times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, you're bound to get confused. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I think all black. Oh. Mm, yeah. My favorite color is black, and I always wear black. Yeah, it's like I feel like. At home, like I like dark colors, like brown, black, and like navy. So I don't know, it, like just makes me feel comfortable. Black, blue, purple, and white. Yeah, yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Distinct colors, yeah. not even close to each other. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys surprised that you get along? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is really cool how that we get along though, because we're all very different, uh. but we like we. We're on the same vibe. It's like a silver lining. Mm -hmm. Like we really get along, truly, which same, is like yeah. super weird. Same flow, same wavelength, yeah, same, same wavelength, same goals in mind. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what makes us like really close, despite like the differences. It's really special. Yeah. You were at Jimmy Kimmel the other day. Yeah. yeah. How was Paris Hilton? Oh, <laughs> wow. <it was> hot. <laughs> that's hot. <laughs> that's hot. Yeah, it was really weird because. You know, she was like kind of iconic to me, like from like the high school days, and like I have this nickname in Korea where they call me that's, that's hot. hot or like <laughs> <"Bitch> hot, <laughs> and like you know people comment that a lot on like my stuff, and so to be able to see like the OG that's oh, yeah. hot, it's like wow, <laughs> what an honor. <laughs> she walks so you can run. Yeah. W why do you have that nickname? Um, <laughs> it's a top secret. <laughs> I mean, everyone knows it, but I'd rather not say. <laughs> I'm sure everyone knows it. <laughs> oh, I, I, I genuinely yeah. don't know. Ning Ning, you want to spell? Oh, oh. 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 That's hot. Oh. <laughs> But my fans found it, <laughs> so yeah, she yeah. called, that's hot. <laughs> that's what you left your classmates with? I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, was that's cool. Uh, that's it. That's cool. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. That's, that's, hot. Hot. that's, that's hot. Aries. <laughs> that's amazing. Are you guys on TikTok? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You like TikTok? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got like love hate energy. <laughs> no, no, no. We we love TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. Okay. Winter, winter. No, Jana. What, what? TikTok, TikTok. Oh, 일단 에스파와 TikTok은 아무래도 저희가 COVID 상황에서 데뷔를 했기 때문에 TikTok이라는 걸로 인해서 뭔가 팬분들과 조금이나마 소통할 수 있는 그런 매개체가 된것 같고 또. 저희의 노래를 이렇게 홍보하고 같이 팬분들과 함께 따라서 이렇게 동작 같은 것도 간편하게 할수 있고 사실 저희는 스케줄에 따로 틱톡을 찍는 스케줄이 있을 정도로 틱톡을 이제 많이 찍고 컨텐츠를 굉장히 많이 하는 편이라서 되게 그 매체에 대해서 조금 친근함을 느끼고 또 그걸 통해서 팬분들과 소통할 수 있는 거에 대해서도 굉장히 감사하게 생각하고 있습니다. Very cool. By the way, you can listen to Espa's music. There's a link in the description below to all of it. It was a pleasure having you guys here. This was fun. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Really Thank you. Too. <laughs> I genuinely enjoy you guys. Really, okay. truly. Really? We should hang out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, today. Let's be friends. I'm down. Yeah, okay. yeah. My friend. Yeah. My friend. <laughs> Aren't you guys sick of each other? You've been together like three days in a row. But <laughs> you don't know her name. No. <laughs> <laughs> This you is got me. This is Karina. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got me. But I'm down to be friends. I'll remember each one of your names. Even guaranteed. our real names? Is that not your real name? No. What's your what, What's your real name? I'm Ari. Ari Hilton. No, no, I'm Ari. No way. This is.
is Jimin. Really? Yeah. Jimin. This is Ning Yi Juo. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Min Jung. Min Jung. Is it weird at this point to hear your actual names or not? Like, do no. You, no. We still call each other our normal names. Really? Yeah. Really. That's really cool. Yeah. So what? how do you see the other name? Is that a character or is that still genuinely you? At first, it used to feel kind of weird calling calling them like by their um, stage names. Yeah. So like it would feel fake. You know what I mean? Like I felt fake. But <laughs> um, over time, it got really like natural and I could tell, like, you know, when we're doing something, like, work-related, I'll call, like, Karina, like, Ning Ning, Winter. That felt very normal now. But, like, when we're, like, behind, like, not um, filming anything, then we just call each other by our real names. I will learn your real names, and I will call you that. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Esp, everybody, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you for having thank us. You. Thank you. Thank you.